Hi everybody, my name is Jaime Cortezo and I'm a colorist from Spain. In this video, I would like to teach you how to color grade your footage, the more cinematic way, but the simplest way also. So to everybody that is here that doesn't know how DaVinci Resolve works or is a little bit intimidating, just come, we can do it. So let's go to DaVinci Resolve and check how we can color grade the footage the cinematic way. So just let's go. Before going to DaVinci Resolve and color with your footage, please subscribe and give a like because this is a very cheap way of supporting the channel so I can make more videos. So with all that being said, let's go to DaVinci Resolve. Okay, now we are in DaVinci Resolve and the first thing that I would like to show you is that I have here my footage for this example. And this is a logarithmic footage from a Blackmagic Pocket uh, Cinema 4K. So the first thing that I would like to do is create a serial node here. And in the second node, I would like to apply the open effects that is called Color Space Transform. So that way we can just transform our logarithmic, logarithmic footage to a more normalized footage. So the first thing that we need to do is to know uh, the settings of the camera in the uh, shooting moment. So the first thing is the input color space was the um, here the Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Generation 4 and the input camera was the Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Generation 4. So here we have the difference and we already have a more normalized video. So now the thing that I would like to do is just go to here to the scopes and select here waveform. So I can just see here Mm, the um, the luma how is uh, how it's on the um, on the on the on the video and how much of highlights and shadows and midtones I have here as you can see I have practically everything on my footage so much high that I am just clipping my video I just I have here some of the footage that is completely white. There is no um, any information there. So for that example, I need to go to the first node that I already left uh, that I already left here empty. And then I will use uh, with the color wheels, the primaries, I will use the gain wheel just down to push here the whites a little bit down so as you can see here i already recover some kind of um, some kind of detail of the highlights here we can also make this if we already lost um, some of the blacks or well it it, it works fine just for the highlights and also for the shadows so now we have like our footage normalized completely we started with this now we have this now the second thing that i would like to do is just to create another serial node here and here in this node i would like to uh, make the primary corrections that is uh, the white balance the uh, exposure and the saturation so the thing that i would like to do is go to parade here and i would like to um uh, to check if my white balance is correct i think in this case is is okay 
I can just change here with the temperature my white balance. I think there with the 10 of the temperature and then a little bit more of magenta. I am just checking that this, that is this part of the video, it's completely the same on the three of the channels because if the three of the channels are the same is a neutral tone. So uh, now I have my white balance is super super minimal the difference but okay. Um, we are going to the waveform and I would like to drop down a little bit the blacks because I would like to have like the cinematic look. And for me the cinematic look is a little bit down everything. It's, uh, it's like more it's like um, softer but also more atmospheric so it's a little bit more dense. Okay, we have here the waveform already I will I already push everything down and then I would like to push a little bit of the saturation but I need to go to the vector scope to check it because the saturation is already already good so I think a little bit more like this and then here in the fourth node we have our look because we have here the first two notes that are the the way of normalize the video the third note we have the primary corrections and here in the fourth note we can have the secondary corrections or we can have the look of like the style like the narrative color style so here the thing that i would love to do in this case, for example, is just go to RGB mixer and here if we push the greens the same amount of that we push the blues down exactly the same 46 46. The result is that we have a teal and orange in like two seconds. So this is a very good and very fast way of making um, uh, teal and orange for me I think the blue is already so much like um, ultramarine look so I would love just to select here in the hue versus hue the blue and I would like to push a little bit more to the teal and for me this is a very good example of making a look fast and that looks great but if we can go a little bit more with the details in this super easy way of making uh, a look we can just add a serial before here and now in our fourth note right before our look we can just create like here I will push a little bit the gamma, the medium tones, up. So we can just recover a little bit of, uh, of the face because it was very, very dark. Now we have like a brighter look. Then if we can, if we need just to finish with that boost of the film look I would like to add but the look is just great now but if we can just go here up a little bit the darks in the curves push a little bit here this is the way of creating the faded look we can create the same here with the with the whites and then in another node we can just put um, a mask but simple simple mask here and we uh, select the outside and then push the gain down to create that vignette here with these two nodes we create that 
that effect of faded of a little bit more vintage look so we started with this and now we have this like in five minutes so this is a very very fast look and a very cinematic look that is super fast of editing. So this is a way of entering to DaVinci Resolve in the color grading, in the color grading. So hope you like it. I hope this video helped you to get the more cinematic look on your videos. And I think it's easy and this is the easiest way. So please, uh, subscribe and give me a like and let me in the comments what's, what's the next thing that you would love to hear and to learn about color grading. So see you in the next video. Ciao!